Good morning. It's Monday, and I'm actually recording this on Friday because I'm going to be away for a while. Um, today's reflection is on making assumptions. And, you know, that's something we all do, but it's something to look at. And as I was thinking about this, as I mentioned in my uh, written portion of reflections, it came up because uh, my husband and I got into a, a little thing we get into occasionally um, because I made an assumption about him that was not really on the money. And I made it from my old pattern, from I thought I knew. I thought I knew how he'd respond, how he'd do things. And so I made an assumption when here the man is trying to, to come into his soul self and make his changes. So if I have him stuck in, say, an old role or an assumption, uh, that's a pretty hard thing to shift out of. Now, it, it goes both ways, but this example came up, of course, because I was the one who made the assumption. And as I got thinking about it, um, it took me back to a channeling I did with Ezekiel when we did Heartlights TV back over a year ago um, called I Know. And it fits right in with the assumption because if you already know something, this is how Ezekiel explained it, um, when you say the words I know, it tells your brain to close that file. Really, literally tells your brain to close that file. And something in your ego knows how to use this word because, these two words, because have, I know with clients and people, but especially with my clients, when they're getting information that's a little tough for them and they want to run by it real quick rather than expand on it and go deeper, what do they say? And it's the body language. I know, I know. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> so that shuts their brain down. They know it. They don't have any more work to do there. Um, well, it's the same thing as an assumption. You make an assumption, you, you are telling the other person and yourself that this is so. Now, if our mind and thoughts create our reality, we have to be really careful here because in this elusive world, is anything really concretely true? I mean, even on our spiritual journey, things that uh, we awoke to and believe so solidly like... Um, Everything would be all right if we just could um, stay in the love and the light. Well, what we learned was we can't stay in the love and the light until we bring all of ourselves in our heart, which is the dark parts and the hard parts and the difficult parts. And so that assumption right off the bat was leading us astray. Another assumption, body, mind, and spirit. You see it everywhere. Well, the truth, and as Ezekiel explained it, rings true to me. We really are... Um, our three fields are the physical field, the emotional field, and the mental field. It's all spirit. So what happened to the emotional field and the body, mind, spirit? Hmm, could be that's a powerful place. But we make an assumption that we understand something like the world is flat, and it takes a long time to work out of that. So this morning's message is um, for this week and right now for this moment, for this moment, Look at a place in your life where you're making an assumption of something you think is true and open that door, especially when it involves another person that you have locked into a role, your husband. You expect him to act a certain way, or your wife, you expect her to act a certain way. Your friend from the past, you expect she's going to respond a certain way. Um, expectations and assumptions. There is a difference. An expectation is almost a hope that someone's going to do something. An assumption is they're going to do it. It's more powerful. So have, have a good time, really fun this week, examining the assumptions in your life and where they've kept your relationships blocked. And um, we'll see you next week. Have a wonderful week and um, a great spring. Cinco de Mayo today. Bye now.